I read The Gingerbread Baby when I was little, and I was always a little myth that he got eaten up. I didn't think that he deserved to get eaten because he talked and he danced around and he was like a person. And I thought maybe someday I would retell that story and have a different ending to it. So in my story, he doesn't get eaten up. He gets captured in a different way. I'm in my kitchen about to make a gingerbread baby. <laughs> and I've already made the dough, which I did last night got all my fresh ingredients and I used my trusty old cookbook you can see how old it is and how much baking I've done <laughs> of course the gingerbread baby I had to make lots of gingerbread men and when they just came out of the oven when they're still warm you can manipulate them and so that's how I would have my little gingerbread babies jumping or looking surprised and then I would bring them down to my art studio and paint them and I flattened out the dough which has been in the fridge all night and I'm just going to roll this out on my marble slab. And the marble slab just keeps the dough cool. This is my cutter that I cut out to make a gingerbread baby. And so now I'm going to press down on it. And I'll just start out with one right now. And then this is where the fun begins. <laughs> because I can tilt his head a little bit. And maybe manipulate his, his feet so he looks like he's... Oh, what is he doing? Jumping in the air, leaping in the air. So this dough is a little bit like sculpting. And then, of course, his nose is a red hot. The gingerbread people, of course, you can decorate. And that kind of goes together with me being an artist and loving visual things. So I have all kinds of different colors of sprinkles and those silver balls that are called silver draggies. And I've got some raisins here. So he's got one eye. And then, oh, we, we have the silver buttons that I'll put right there. Coming down the front, we have chocolate bits. I don't think there's anything more yummy than chocolate. And so there, there he is. He's all finished, and I can roll out that dough and do some of my other things. I'll do maybe a chick next. Especially Christmas would not be the same if I wasn't able to bake a few things in the kitchen and share them with friends and family. And I always like to make something a little different. I've got an idea this year for making baby chicks. So I'm going to make one with coconut on it to make it look like a certain kind of baby chick and all these different colors sprinkles. Now those cookies are all ready to go. All I need to do is put them on a baking sheet and pop them in the oven and then put the timer on eight minutes and do not peek. <laughs> There's something about baking that's a little bit like a children's book. You put all the ingredients together and you mix it up, put it in the oven, then all of a sudden something comes out that is very different than what you started out with. I love that idea of going from something mundane to something wonderful.